Look in there. That is nothing but wholesome goodness. This, this is the pulley off of the winch. I think I've showed this before. I gotta cut this flange off. Get that cable pulled out of there. And I bought these aluminum blanks. What I'm gonna do is drill a hole through this to fit on this shaft. Probably key it. Even though it's aluminum, it's better than not keying it. And I'm gonna cut a groove in this to make a pulley. And that should solve my problem on how I'm gonna drive these things. These were 12 bucks a piece. I wanted, it was the cheapest route that I could find. I bought four of them. I think I need five, which sucks because then I could have got a six inch chunk for 52 bucks and been able to get all of them out of it. But uh, we'll just make do with this. Alright, so I want to uh, include you on the, the successes and the failures. I don't know if it's going to be a failure or not, but what I'm doing, that's the center right there. I've marked a spot out here. That is exactly the edge of the hole that will be drilled through here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a quarter inch hole through that spot so that when I drill, bore the main hole, it will leave half of that hole and basically all you gotta do is file that out to make the keyway. It's a quarter inch keyway for this size shaft. I have a quarter inch bit, drill a quarter inch hole. All you gotta do is file it square and hopefully it will be just right. I told you lately that I love aluminum. It's like butter. It is like butter. There's our hole. Right there. Pretty good, eh? A little hot, a little hot, but good profile. Almost done. Just gotta clean up the bottom. There it is. All right, so here's the deal. I bought some key. Drop it right in there. You take your uh, pulley here, 
with the key way in it. Find the key, slide it in there, look at that. Now all I gotta do is put a spacer on the shaft so that this pulley can't dance around and it's good. So here is the winch that we talked about a few episodes ago. Put that in there. You put the shaft piece in there. Fits just like so. Alright, now we put our keeper plate. Okay. Look at that. That's our pulley unit right there. Drive unit. Just barely have enough clearance down here for the belt, which is great. I think it's gonna work. We're gonna do a dry run of the screw in the chamber. And uh, I haven't put it in there yet, I haven't tried it. So we're gonna see how it fits, how it looks. It's, it should be uh, three eighths to a half inch smaller in diameter than the chamber. But the augers weren't quite round when I cut them after I after I stretched them. So I'd be curious to see how how well it, it fits in there. So we're gonna try that right now. So it's in there, doesn't look bad. You can see in there, that's, that's it right in there. See I gotta cut holes in this, in the, in the auger body itself. Cause all the fumes are gonna come around and go into that hole and then go through the chamber and out. Wanted to do a test fit before I went any further because if it doesn't fit right or something, or if I totally screwed it up, good lord that's heavy, then I didn't want to continue, right? Look in there, that is nothing but wholesome goodness. Chips are going to go right in here and that thing's just going to Calgon take them away. It's going to be nice when this thing's running, It'll be thousand degree fumes coming out of right here. It won't won't just be open, it'll have a stack on it. Because you gotta have a stack to help. What's called stack effect when the, the hot air rising helps pull the heat out and once it gets going, it's just a continuous cycle. This thing is gonna be so hot that I can't have a bearing or anything on it. So what I'm gonna do with this pipe, see it. I already got it machined down for a bearing on top. That's going to be sticking outside of the cabinet so that I could, it's kind of outboard bearing basically. It's an outboard bearing so that the heat doesn't get here and I think I'm going to have to blow air down the pipe back toward the unit to keep this cool. So here's the plan. I got four of these. I'm going to set them just like this all the way around, four quadrants. And those are going to be the spacers basically. When I insert that thing into the pipe here, it'll center itself and then I can weld these to the pipe. That will help hold it and then I'm going to put an end cap on this with a hole in it that that pipe will come through and I'll weld it so it'll be held in two places and it's not just relying on this end cap. The 
Good idea. Look at that. Seems to be working beautifully. Uh, you can't see in there, but that's precisely what we need. That's the intake, or the, the outlet, I guess. Just the area of these four holes is exactly the area of the pipe. So there shouldn't be any restriction other than turbulence trying to get in here. I'm not entirely disappointed with that. Actually, I'm pretty happy. I was shaking like a leaf. Came out all right. 